This is the new bow roller, and it is a weapon. The final instalment to complete the deck up here is to mount the windlass. Subscribe to the channel as we sail this old girl around the world. After nine weeks in the boatyard, Nanji's refit is close to complete as we have finished off the major jobs on our list. Nanji now has a new engine installed and running perfectly and from the outside she looks a million bucks with a new fresh paint job. With the engine installed now complete and the top sides painted, we can put the bow back together and finishing off the upgrade, installing the new windlass. So we got the plate there now that's all nice and dry, that bog's attached to the... That bog's bonded very well to the deck here. And now we just got to bed everything with epoxy. Because we're using stainless and stainless nuts and heads and threads, they tend to bind up when you go on, like when you join them together. So you got to put this snot on, I call it snot, it's grey snot. Good old anti-seize, this stuff is, ah, uh, it protects metal parts from extreme heat, pressure, rust and corrosion. Prevents galling, seizing and pitting, so basically it's the gear that you need on all your stuff. So before I thread on all the lock nuts, I put it on underneath all these little pretty little lock heads that I've, that I've got. Because I made all these own bolts out of uh, endless thread, I cut them all up to length and made my own to make them look pretty. See that rounded head looks heaps more prettier than like a bolt head. We've got our little icing on the cake down here. So I've, cooked, I've put quite a bit on and this little back corner need a little bit more. So hopefully I'll put it around each hole as well. So when I put this down, hopefully it squishes out the sides and then I can just wipe those edges. So then I get a nice clean. I've, I've put masking tape on this and on here. Oh, see how it goes, eh? So I put a bit of that epoxy filler around the middle there. So hopefully that's about where the wood will sit. Hopefully that treats it a little bit better as well. And then I just put some sicker around the top to seal the top of the hole here. Asia is probably our favourite little boat chandlery. It's down at the Linkawi Yacht Club. It's not the biggest chandlery, but it's got everything that we need. We found even our, our uh, anchor chain. And the best part is that the owners are Kiwis and they love dogs, so he gets to come in the shop. Hey, buddy! This is Australian short leg 8mm chain, galvanised. <laughs> because we can't afford 316 or 304, which would be nice and shiny with everything else that's shiny on the bow. But, you know, that's, we're not quite that lucky. But because chain, it's not exactly the lightest thing on earth, because it's trying to keep your boat still, we're gonna have to do a bit of manual labor of that into a drum, drum into the, another drum in the car, a whole heap of this. I'll see you in a couple of hours. We're going to replace our headsail halyard and also run another halyard because we've had uh, our headsail halyard snap twice now. We don't want that to happen again on passage. So um, yeah, we'll just run another one. We, we totally went above and beyond what we used to have. We had 60 meters, but now that was 91. We've anchored in so many deep places. Solomon's is deep. There's deep, deep water around the vents. I know it's going to be deep out of Chargos, so we've loaded up ready for it. This is the new bow roller, and it is a weapon. It weighs a shit ton. I'm just laying out the brand new anchor chain. This is five meters, so running it backwards and forwards. I'm gonna paint one side red, one side white. So every white will be every 10 meters, every red will be every five meters. That's the plan. It's like 36 degrees today, so it's really hot. Whew. How much have you laid out? Um, 20 meters out of what 90? Yep. I've got so much more to go. And I'm gonna do something different so that at the 10 meter mark we can tell that there's 10 meters left. So that's what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. That's what I'm doing. Spray painting with fun. Holy jingo. Oh my goodness, look at that. 
This oh. is a piece of engineering ingenuity. I designed all this to fit our four stay and then for future to run a code zero and an asymmetrical to be able to fly them. So I've made a, a bow sprit that slides in and out. <laughs> what? That thing's a weapon. <laughs> Wow. With our new bow roll, it was a little bit raised. We knew it was probably going to be that way anyway because it was made somewhere else and then try to fit it onto the boat. There's too many variations in the shape of Nanji, so without them being on here, it was never going to fit perfectly. So we've had to make a couple of little, uh, couple of little wedges and shims, so we're building it up off the deck to make it nice and flat because the deck's rounded. So we've got a glue two bits applied together, then we'll sit that in bog. And then yes, and then we'll glass that to the deck. So it's going to be a solid little structure to that then bolt on top. But first up is we've got to use a bit more of, yep, you know it, epoxy. So it's like a wood epoxy glue. So smear all that, glue these two fellas together. Then we'll set it in bog and we'll screw it all down to the deck all in one so it all sets together. <laughs> it's a happy mess. It may look like a bit of a uh, catastrophe at the moment, but it, it'll come up nice, mate, I assure you. The old sander, we just got to shape it because we, because we come up so high with two bits of ply, so we raise it like 20 to 30 mil. And to glass that edge, you can't make fiberglass turn at right angles, so you need nice curves for it to follow. So we just had to put a bit of a filler on the edge there, and we'll sand that back before we glass over the top steel. See, pros, jeez, mate, I know what I'm doing these days. <laughs> Uncle Cammy around. Thanks, it's Cam. <laughs> This is fighting me the whole way. What is it? Uh, this whole, this whole, this whole thing. I, yeah, this, every time I do anything, it just wants to sag right out of here. So, uh, it's the angle of the jangle. The angle of the jangle and the, and the heat of the day. Oh yeah. Every step of the way, we've been fighting this one. Yeah. So I've got the fun job of doing uh, some painting around the boat. I'm going to paint the inside of the lazarette. So this is those really hot, sticky places um, where you feel like you're like dying in a sauna. In you get. Welcome to my world. You've never been in there before. Get in there. That's the man cave. Weapon. Weapon two, use your tray. Man going. Man cave sucks, doesn't it? It sucks. Yeah. What kind of technique is just put heaps of paint in there and shove it out there and wiggle it around. That's how you get it, eh? Just get it in there. Don't let me take my mask off. Okay? Keep your mask on. Yeah, so that's the job done. The lazarette's primed. I'll just wait for that to dry and then I can do the final coat. Slowly but surely it's all coming together. I've marked out the template here on this other bit of pad here. This is where the windlass is going to mount. The deck here is super thick because we built it up with the two layers of ply. Then there's the ply deck and then there's a big ply back backing plate underneath as well that I've epoxied underneath so all of that just ties in together. So I don't know, it's probably going to be this much wood to get through. I'll have to hole saw out this circle here. That's where the windlass will be mounted and then this is the hole that the chain has to go through so I'll probably have to jigsaw this one out. We've got the hand railings all attached to the front now. The, the guy who made it, we had to give it back to him a couple of times so they kept stuffing it up and so by the time we grabbed it, it was just like that'll do mate. Hopefully it fits. It should fit. I'm just going to have to pull in these sides. But I'll mount the windlass first and then I can just pull them in with the come along or something. So first is to get this windlass down. Heaps of shiny shit. Nice! Look how <laughs> shiny it is up here. <laughs> Judging by the bit, it's uh, about this deep. So like that deep. It's like two inches thick. <laughs> We've gone in as far as the drill bit can because it's so deep. So hopefully I can snap this bit of ply because it's a few layers in there, but the epoxy is going to be strong. I feel like I'm going to snap the screwdriver. The final instalment to complete the deck up here, apart from painting, is to mount the windlass. So I drilled the holes and because the deck's so thick, I, I plonked it on there last night and the bolts that come off of the windlass aren't long enough to get through the deck that we built. <laughs> it's too thick. It's too thick. So this morning I had to get underneath of the sander and take a bit of the backing pad that I had epoxied up there off. So it's much shorter now, so hopefully it fits. I should dry run it. Nah, it should be right. I know it's going to fit. Okay. The 
put the rest of that epoxy around the base of the bolts there. Here she goes. Oh, look at that. That is a weapon. That's going the wrong way. Oh. Oh. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah, that's paying out. It may be running backwards at the moment, but this is the first time we've had a working windlass for over two years. I've been pulling up the pulling up the anchor by hand for two years. Oh my god! Oh, do you want to turn the power off and I'll swap? It. I'll fix it. Yeah. <laughs> Finally, the time is where we can use our new windlass to rip up the new anchor chain that we've got all laid out down here. But to attach the chain onto our onto our anchor. We're using this swivel from Mantis. These guys specialize in all ground tackles, so all uh, all swivels, and uh, we got a good snubber for ourselves as well, but I've still got to put on rope guides on the bow before we can really use that. Basically, we're, we're eliminating any sort of rust off the bow of Nanji anymore, so we won't have any of these stains and everything going on up there like we had before, so we've just got to put the swivel on. This swivel's got a bit of, a bit of ingenious, I thought. It looks sick. Smart, eh? What a cool little invention. That is really cool, eh? Hey? Yeah, so it goes so straight onto in. the chain. The chain still swivels around. There's no way of that pin coming free, so that's locked on. So you don't need to, don't need to tie anything off there. And then we mouse off the ends. There's a little hole in the bolt there, so to stop anything coming loose, you just mouse that off, and you do the same through here. And before we screw this bell housing down, we'll just wrap this up with Teflon tape to hold it all together. You have to ensure you get a couple of wraps of the wire going through the hole. So you go around twice. So mouse it off, double wrapped around this side, double wrapped through that side, through that hole. So that stops this housing going, slipping off anywhere, keeps the pin locked in place. And we can just twist around. We've got the bolt out of the shackle all moused off as well. So we've got that man to swivel attached now. Our old swivel system was kind of, we had a bit of a chain and then this other sort of thing that was hanging off the side. Here, actually, come on. This is our old swivel setup. So we had this little anchor chain. We had a shackle here then connected to the anchor. And this is all our swivel, so it had all the multiple directions, but look how big and chunky and hideous it is, and you can't mouse off these bolts, so I was always worried about that. So now we've replaced it with much simpler design, and it's straight on, so this man to swivel on pretty stoked with it. The last bit of anchor chain to pull up. <laughs> can't get too excited, I'll just go into the anchor well now and tie off that bitter end, and then oh, you can yeah. do the honours, eh? Hey? Watch your bum. Just ripping it up. That fits the new bow roller. Sorry. Hello legends. Hey guys, that's another episode. Nanji is getting tougher and tougher. We built up that bow so thick I couldn't believe how thick it was like when we were drilling through to put in the windlass. It's pretty funny that it was too thick to actually put the windlass on. Yeah. We're so happy with the new setup. We got a longer chain that's not rusty. We got a bow sprit and we got a windlass. So Josh doesn't need to pull up the anchor anymore by hand. So. And, and we've already been dominating with that. Drop an anchor like three yeah. or four times a day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Girls we can. Yeah. So yeah, Josh is doing that for two years. So he's pretty happy he doesn't have to do it anymore. Oh yeah. So thanks to our new frothers that have jumped on board this last week. It's great when we get these new names and we really appreciate it. So thanks to John and Jill, Glenton and Hazel, Dan, John Goldie, Derek, Phil McCracken, <laughs> John G and Tiamo, and thanks to Wade and John for upping your pledges and thanks very much to Armando for chucking a bit in the PayPal. All of this yep. really helps assist our productions and help us to keep moving. And, Soon you'll see Nanji in the water and see what it's what all this work has been about. So thanks very much, Legends. And uh, we love that you're, you've enjoyed the packages that we sent out, guys. So so stoked. <laughs> yeah, glad we could share a bit of froth with you, patrons. Yeah, so it thanks, was a guys. really nice feeling sending that out. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe to the channel. Tell your friends, tell your mum, tell everyone. Selling Nanji. All the way. <laughs> all right. See Cheers, you guys. Legends. Bye. Gotcha. It's coming together. We only had two bits of left of the heavier stuff, so we put down the Nitex up at one hand and then we got bi-axle up the other end. Great hand. Yeah. Today is the day that I tackle the <laughs> shittiest job oh, going around. You said the word. I dropped the bomb because I'm crap playing job. with the toilet. It's a crappy job. Oh. Yeah, and there's screws on the bottom. That's about right, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs>